take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Vitamin K is necessary for normal blood clotting. It is also needed for healthy bones and other tissues. The effects of vitamin K toxicity can include anemia due to rupture of red blood cells and jaundice. Take our lead. To diagnose a vitamin K deficiency, a doctor will ask about a person's medical history to see if they have any risk factors. The doctor may use a coagulation test called the prothrombin time or PT test. They take a small blood sample and then add chemicals to observe how long it takes to clot. Let's help you make your mark. Luckily, vitamin K is abundant in lots of easy-to-find and easy-to-grow fruits and vegetables. Dietary sources of vitamin K include leafy greens like chard, collards, kale, and spinach. The vitamin is also found in fruits, including prunes, kiwis, blackberries, blueberries, and our favorite, avocados, the 7th of March 2017. Take our lead. Because of its toxicity, menadione is no longer used for treatment of vitamin K deficiency. The effects of vitamin K toxicity can include jaundice in newborns, hemolytic anemia, and hyperbilirubinemia. Toxicity also blocks the effects of oral anticoagulants. Point 1 June 2020. Take our lead. We always recommend taking vitamin D with vitamin K2 if you are supplementing. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. Vitamin D increases calcium levels in the body. Vitamin K helps the body use calcium by shuttling it to your bones. Point two zero February 2018. Let's help you make your mark. If you suddenly increase your intake of vitamin K intake in your diet, it can have an unintended consequence. It can actually decrease the effect of warfarin, says cardiologist Leslie Cho, MD. This is because vitamin K is an essential part of the chemical process for forming blood clots in your body, she says. 28 October 2019. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.